Hi, I'm going to show you how the native VLAN works. So the two things to keep in mind, um, the native VLAN, when you have it set, for example, VLAN 1, by default is VLAN 1, if traffic comes from the native VLAN, so I'm on VLAN 1, it will send it untagged across the trunk port. And when a trunk port receives untagged traffic, it will send it to the native VLAN. So if I try and ping this PC, I'll send it across to switch one first. And since it comes from VLAN 1 and the native VLAN is 1, it sends it untagged across this link. So when it arrives at switch 2, the native VLAN is 1, so untagged traffic gets sent to uh, VLAN 1. Problem is, there's no PC on VLAN 1. Uh, it's on PLAN, uh, VLAN 20. So this ping will fail. So if we go into here, and do a neat little trick. So we'll change the native VLAN. To 20. There will be some errors. It'll say uh, mismatch. But uh, don't worry about that. For now. It's not best practice to uh, have mismatched native VLANs across ports here. They usually have to be the same. But now the ping should work. And here's why. When we go out again to switch one, it's native VLAN one, so it'll send it untagged across this trunk port because it comes from VLAN one. When it gets to switch two, the native VLAN now is 20. So untagged traffic gets sent to VLAN 20, which this PC is on. And if we try it, we'll try and ping it. You can see it pings just fine. It's really neat. Even though there are separate VLANs, VLAN 1 and 20, they're both communicating. So let's try something even weirder. So let's make this PC on VLAN 10. Yeah, yeah, CDP. It doesn't like it when the links are messed up. So let me uh, change that real quick for you. Okay, I'm back now. And all I did was make this port the native VLAN of 10. And I put this v, uh, PC on VLAN 10. So the same rules ap apply. Uh, the frame will go out and go to switch 1. And since this is on the native VLAN, right, I'm on VLAN 10, the native VLAN on the trunk port is 10. When it goes out, it gets sent untagged. When it gets to the second switch, untagged traffic again goes to the native VLAN. And this native VLAN on switch 2 is uh, VLAN 20. So this will go out on VLAN 20 and should be able to ping this PC. So if we try it, dot 3, you can see it pings just fine. Also note, um, this is really bad. The native VLANs um, should match. Um, this is just to show you how it kind of works. It's kind of fun to play around with the native VLAN. But I, I also had to disable um, spanning tree protocol for some reason. It thought it created a loop here, so the pings weren't working right. So I had to turn them off for all the VLANs. There's probably a better way, but anyways, that's how native VLANs work. If you like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.